Cardi B. So Cardi B, um, she was supposed to headline, uh, she was one of the headliners for uh, Music Fest, something that was happening uh, down in Atlanta. I think it was supposed to happen in, it, well, not supposed to happen. It's happening in September. Look, this is what it comes down to for me. And I don't want people to think that I'm bashing women for having kids. Because the truth of the matter is, shit happens. A lot of motherfuckers, most pregnancies are not planned anyways. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you think that you're not going to have kids and then should you look up and bitch you, girl, you feel something in your stomach and you like, okay, well, girl, that's not Chipotle. Girl, you know, that's not that Taco Bell, girl. That's, that's, girl, that's baby good, honey. So I get it. Sometimes shit happens. And I also, I'm, I'm pro-life. I'm pro-abortion. I also understand that Sometimes when you get pregnant, because this has happened to a couple of people I know, they were pro-abortion and they will always scream, if I ever got pregnant, I'm having an abortion, I ain't having no kids, I ain't doing it. And then as soon as they got pregnant, they was like, I couldn't do it. I, <laughs> I couldn't do it. Like, I thought I could have an abortion, but I, could, I, I just was like, no, nah, I'm going to have to figure it out on my own. So I get it. And don't ever, don't ever, I don't want anybody thinking that, no, I have, of course, not had a baby, but a bitch go through shit. Please believe me. Some of the issues that I, some of the problems that I've had and some of the issues that I, you know, some of the things I go through, some of them are self-inflicted wounds. I will be the first one to say, I look back and I'm like, damn girl, like you should have did this or you shouldn't have did that or, you know. So please don't think that a bitch ain't got no problems or no issues because a bitch got some problems and issues, okay? I ain't bringing no children into this motherfucking world. Um, but with that being said, I think what my problem is with Cardi B and other women who... It's, kind of, it's like, okay, Cardi B had the biggest single in the world. Like, I'm sure this is not Cardi B's first time getting pregnant. Okay, so do you know? Do you know how pissed off those music executives were? Those the the people who who she signed to Atlantic Records, whoever she signed to. If y'all think that when they found out that Cardi B was pregnant, if y'all think the motherfuckers was popping bottles of champagne, y'all got nothing coming. Y'all know those people were pissed off. The simple fact that their artist, the biggest artist in the world, who didn't even have one album out at the time, had the biggest single in the world, you up and you get your ass pregnant? What? How the... Do you know them people was probably in their office banging their heads against the fucking table? Hold up, what? Excuse me? We just signed this girl? And now y'all coming to tell us that she's pregnant? And she got the biggest single out right now? No, 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 no. She not y'all. This, this has to be an April Fool's joke. A girl, it's, it's December. <laughs> so I don't. I just think one of my one of my thing one of the issues that I have, and maybe it's issues that I have, and I'm placing them on everybody else. Is I just look, and it's not even. Real, I don't think really think it's my issue. It's just one thing I've noticed is when women start to have kids. I have noticed that a lot of their dreams and aspirations, things that they wanted to do before the kids were brought into this world are pretty much put on the back burner. Like these niggas can still go out and try to be America's next top, you know, rapper. They can still go out and try to be the next Tyson Beckford. They can still go out and try to be the next Jay-Z. They can still go out and try to be the next Trey Songz. But girl, you pretty, your body is pretty much about to be pulled and stretched in every direction. And then after you have the baby, a lot of women go through postpartum depression and, you know, you have to let your body heal and now, you know, you thought you were going to be this sexy rapper. Now you got baby gut hanging everywhere. Now you're, now you're nervous. But you know, since I feel like it's a lot that goes into like when a woman has a baby. So I don't want people to think that, oh, I'm just like on here bashing women who have, who have kids. Because baby, I mean, girl, my mama, if my mama didn't get pregnant, I wouldn't be here. So it's not that I'm bashing women that have kids. It's just that I've started to realize I've noticed that when women have kids, at the end of the day, they're more affected by them having kids than the man is. The man can go on with his life and go on with his career while you're over here healing. So you get pregnant, girl, you pretty much gonna need a year or two probably just to get your body back together. 
And unless, and unless you like in a situation, one thing I will say, as much as I shade Beyonce, one thing I will say about that motherfucking Beyonce, that bitch waited till she felt as though the time was right for her to start popping out babies. That bitch made her career. That that bitch made sure her career was on point. Now Beyonce is at the point where even if she had a baby. And, she, and, pe and people found out she was pregnant, motherfuckers still won't give a damn. They still gonna buy her concert tickets. They still gonna go to that concert. They not gonna give a damn. They not. And I feel like she played her cards right. Like, girl, Cardi B, you pretty much met a nigga in the industry who already had three kids, three baby mamas. Girl, and then you threw your leg to the moon and started popping our kids. What? Who do that? And I don't care what none of y'all say. At the end of the day, you would not want your daughter doing no shit like that. Would you? Would you? Cardi B ain't our child. I'm just saying. Like, Cardi B missing out on a lot of money. And I understand money ain't everything. Money ain't everything. But, girl, at the end of the day, bitch, all y'all motherfuckers talk about is money, 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 money. Jay-Z and Beyonce, they billionaire. Dr. Drake, and then, and then when the bitch start talking about money, is money ain't even everything. Well, bitch, y'all always bringing up money. This bitch missing out on a lot of money and a lot of opportunities right now. Like, girl, the simple fact that you was supposed to headline, I think they said the headliners were going to be her, Nas, and somebody else. And then you had people like Khalees and Brent. I said, uh, Khalees, I said, when I saw Khalees, I said, Khalees and Nas going to be at the Okay, this must be different days, girl, okay? Um, I don't know. I just, I just, I just look at Cardi B like, I mean, clearly she's trying to show us she's not hurting for money because... She let us motherfuckers know that we might be broke, but she not. Um, she went and bought her car, bought her like a five hundred thousand. Not it wasn't even five hundred thousand. It was over five hundred thousand dollars. She went and bought her a half a million dollar car the other day. She paid for it cash, cash. Okay. Um, but it's just like, girl, I just, I just, I, I don't understand this whole. Like, girl, I've been wanting my dreams and all this to come true. And then they finally come true. And then, bam, I get pregnant by the first nigga who, you know, say I'm cute. What? But good luck, Cardi B. Girl. I hope that, like, once you come back, once your body heals, once you're mentally ready, that, girl, the people still here and they still love you, girl. Because, baby, these fans. And I'm going to say this much, too. And I said this in my last video. I think it's unfair and I think it's fucked up that you have these artists like Cardi B, yes, who up and get pregnant when you have regular people who when they hear about these concerts, I said this in my last video and I'm going to say it again. When you have regular people who when they hear about these concerts, they start buying concert tickets, they start buying hotel rooms, they start um, you know, putting money aside to rent cars, they, stop, they start buying um, outfits, start taking off days. And then all of a sudden, you say the concert is canceled. Hold on, what? God, I don't already bought an outfit. I don't already bought a hotel room. I don't already pay for these concert tickets. I don't already took off. Like, and some of the stuff may be refundable. But it's just the simple fact that God did all this for you just to turn around and throw your legs to the moon and get pregnant. You know what? I'm about to get mad. Bye, y'all.